The word calculus has many meanings. In dentistry, it means deposits of calcium phosphate salts on teeth that uh, may cause periodontal diseases. Therefore, they have to be removed periodically by the dentist. Calculus is a Latin word. It means a pebble or a small stone. Calculus is also that area of mathematics that has to do with computations of areas, volumes, speeds and accelerations of moving objects and so forth. So one may wonder how come the word calculus, a pebble, got its meaning as an area of mathematics. Somehow it all started with Vitruvius. He was a Roman engineer and architect, born approximately 75 BC, died approximately 15 BC. In this drawing, you can see Vitruvius explaining his architectural designs to the Emperor Augustus. Vitruvius was the first engineer to be known by his name. Wikipedia explains the Roman engineer Vitruvius developed one of the first odometers consisting of a wheel of a known circumference that dropped a pebble, that is a calculus, into a container on every rotation. The distance traveled was then computed by calculating the number of calculi, that is, the number of pebbles fallen into the container. Vitruvius computed with Roman numerals. The Roman numerals are letters. So I means 1, V means 5, X means 10, L means 50, C means 100, D means 500, and M means 1000. So when thinking numbers in terms of these Roman numerals, then for example the number 2017 has to be thought of as being 1000 plus 1000 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1. That is 2017. And then expressed in Roman numerals this becomes MMXVII. Likewise, 409 expressed in Roman numerals becomes CCCCVIIII. It is clear that these Roman numerals lead to rather long expressions for numbers. So abbreviations were introduced. 400, which is originally CCCC, can be abbreviated as CD when the symbol C for 100 is preceding the symbol D for 500. Then this CD means 500 minus 100, which is 400. Likewise, IX means 10 minus 1, which is 9. So 409 becomes CD, IX. This is already a considerably shorter expression. Now think of the following problem. Within the system of Roman numerals, Compute the expression of the fraction MDCVII minus XXIX and that difference divided by CCLXIII. So what is the value of this arithmetic expression? This is pretty complicated to compute if one has to deal with Roman numerals only. For this kind of computations, Roman Romans use pebbles, that is calculi, plural for calculus, to aid computations. One could, of course, take simply MDCVII, number of small stones, that is pebbles or calculi, and then subtract XXIX, stones of that pile of stones, and then divide this remaining pile of stones into CCLXIII, small piles. Now computing the number of stones in each of these small piles, one gets the value of this arithmetic expression. But this is very tedious. Evaluating arithmetic expressions within the realm of Roman numerals was hard. Romans used abacus for computations. 
in a Roman abacus, pebbles were organized in slots, and depending on the slot where a pebble was, it had a different meaning. The word abacus comes from the Greek adjective form of abax, which means a calculating table. All these calculations in Europe became easier with Leonardo Pisano. He is more commonly known as Fibonacci. He was the son of a well-to-do merchant in Pisa, nowadays in Italy, and his father was considered to be a good man. So he earned the nickname Bonaccio, that's a good man. And his son, Filio di Bonaccio, was then called Fibonacci. So that's where the name Fibonacci comes for, for Leonardo Pisano, and everybody now calls him Fibonacci. In this photograph you see the statue of Fibonacci, which is in a museum next to the Cathedral of Pisa. Fibonacci traveled in Middle East together with his father, who had business dealings there. And he found out that Arabs were computing differently. They used Hindu Arabic numerals. And these are the numbers we nowadays use in Europe. So Fibonacci introduced the Hindu Arabic numerals to Europe in 1202. Here is a picture of the book called Liber Abaci, published in 1202, in which Fibonacci explains how these Arabs and uh, these Indians were performing computations. But it took a long time before these Hindu-Arabic numerals were adopted in Europe. So more than 300 years later, Gregor Rice, in the book Margarita Philosophica, published in 1508, shows two men performing computations, the one using an abacus on the right, and then there's the one using Hindu-Arabic numbers on the left. The person on the left seems more affluent and more happy and, and uh, more effective in his computations than the person using pebbles on the right. So it took several hundreds of years before the Hindu-Arabic numerals became commonly used, Roman numerals are still used to indicate, for example, Super Bowl games, or lists, or sections in various calculus courses, calculus 1, calculus 2, calculus 3, maybe written as calculus I, calculus II, or calculus III. The Roman numerals are used also in other occasions, but for practical computations nowadays, one of course uses these Hindu-Arabic numerals, which are the numbers that everybody... So for practical computations, one uses, of course, the Hindu-Arabic numerals. Let me now return to the arithmetic problem presented earlier in this video. Compute MDC VII minus XXIX divided by CCLXIII. Within the realm of the Roman numerals, this is fairly challenging. But uh, if we use the Hindu Arabic number system that we now use, it becomes 1607 minus 29 divided by 263. A seventh grader can compute this and gets the result 6. So we conclude that MDC VII minus XXIX divided by CC LXIII is simply VI. Romans used pebbles, calculi plural for calculus, to aid computations. To summarize, calculus is a Latin word that means a pebble. It was used in computations in the antique Rome. Some kind of a calculator was formed of these small stones, and now it means field of mathematics related to various computations like that of the area of a domain. Calculus is also a term in dentistry. Calculus on teeth may lead to periodontal diseases, that is, uh, diseases of the gum. Here we see a patient suffering from 
serious gum disease.